crew to avoid the road closure on Alabama 36 West due to construction. Today, Kelly and I are driving from Huntsville to Birmingham, Alabama. Anytime I mentioned I was coming to Alabama, the response I got was, why? Kelly is why. Kelly was my roommate our freshman year at UNC Greeley in Colorado. Two tank tops. I remember that skirt. Wait, yeah. What was his name again? That's great on my yeah. hair. Thank goodness I wrote things down. No kidding. Nobody's last name is Adam and Burr. Yeah, I'm still in touch. Randomly assigned, but a friendship that has become totally and completely intentional. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. You prepared to I transferred schools after one year, but that one year set us on track for a lifetime of friendship. Our lives forever linked. Kelly! Cheers to family and friends. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We visited each other as much as we could throughout the rest of university and into adulthood. Her first child became my goddaughter. Yeah, I love dried seaweed. I want to try this. Dried squid and uh -huh. mango cabbage. You sure are brave. A lot of kids wouldn't want to try that. Her family moved across several states several times, ultimately landing in Alabama one year ago due to her husband's job. Yeah, so I mean, after living, we were in the Midwest for the last three years, right? Between Iowa and Nebraska and now here. And being from Colorado, it's so similar, but it's also so different. Bugs. So here I am, and here we are, my first time in Alabama, and Kelly trying to get to know her new home state. Most days here are full with cooking dinners, taking walks, and playing games with the kids. But today, Kelly and I have to ourselves. Let's go! So here we are, two Colorado girls, getting to know a place that has always been so foreign to us, Alabama. Is this your first time to go to Birmingham? It is. Yeah, we moved to Alabama like a year ago, but yeah, we haven't been to Birmingham yet. I'm so excited yeah. to go. There's so much history, and I really miss the city. I'm like truly I'm excited to like be in a city. When I think of Birmingham, Alabama, I think of the civil rights movement, bombings and protests, lunch counter sit-ins, history in this city, and in going there, we want to feel the history even deeper. As we near Birmingham, our first stop is at the Sloss Furnaces which opened in 1882 and operated for nearly 100 years as a pig iron producing blast furnace. So crazy, like as we walked through, it was almost surreal. It was like I could imagine it like bustling and steaming and burbling and like all the noise and the heat and what it would be like. It's like a, its own whole like industrial little city. The most famous fatality involving the inhalation of gas occurred at Birmingham's Alice Furnaces in 1887. Theophilus Calvin Jowers was killed there while installing a new bell in the top of one of the furnaces. Overcome by gas and heat, he tripped and fell into the furnace. The account of his death in the Birmingham age reported that his body was reduced almost to ashes. According to legend, Jowers' ghost was seen and heard at the Alice Furnaces until they were abandoned in 1927. His ghost then apparently moved to Sloss and to here, where over the years it became part of the city's folk culture. But then you read the placards about the people and, and what the experience was actually like. Exactly, and it's really unfortunate because uh, the majority of the labor was used from convict leasing and that was able to happen based on a loophole in the 13th Amendment, so it is like a very dark, period of time. 
going to Birmingham, we're going to see where civil rights things happened, and we know that even after the Civil War, people were indentured here yeah. against their will, yeah. because so. that's the way our country was built. So, let's go downtown. Let's go downtown. Yeah. Now. Before grabbing lunch, we made a quick stop in one of the newer parts of town to check out the craft beer scene. We stopped off at a brewery called Good People, and the people who work here are very good and cool. And I got a sour. It's coconut papaya and... So good. Very sour and very good. We left the Good People Brewing Company and right now we are starving. So we looked online and we found something called Yo Mamas and it looks like very typical southern food. So we are here now and we ordered some fried chicken as you do when you're in the south. So now we're just waiting. Let's see how that tastes. Chicken, we got crunch fries, we got coleslaw, we got black beans, and it's my first time having sweet tea in Alabama. It's really good. It tastes, it's very sweet, but at least I can taste some tea. <laughs> I love fried chicken. I like never eat that. Oh, it's so good. We're leaving Yo Mama's now. We just talked to the owner, actually. She said that she and her mother own it together. Right now, that is the only location, and actually what's cool about it is they're pretty well known. They were on Netflix shows. They also have options if you're gluten-free. They have a different fryer for chicken and waffles both, so it's a good option if you have eating restrictions. Now with our stomachs full, we are ready to take in the historical part of the city. What's really cool about Birmingham, as you walk around, they have these signs up all over that have maps and they talk about the civil rights movement. So it's like an open air museum. You're just constantly learning about different things on different corners. You can follow the entire march. Park now, which is close to a lot of the historical um, monuments, I guess. Throughout the 1960s, Kelly Ingram Park became the site for many abusive police tactics used on protesters in the center of the civil rights movement. Police used attack dogs on the protesters, as well as spraying them with high powered fire hoses all of which are memorialized with statues inside the park. Across the street from the park is the 16th Street Baptist Church, where, in 1963, the KKK terrorist group planted a bomb which exploded under the stairs of the church, killing four young girls. Our last stop downtown was a quick view of the A.G. Gaston Hotel, built in 1954 and currently being refurbished. It served as a meeting place for Martin Luther King Jr. and several other prominent leaders in the civil rights movement, as well as the starting point for many marches throughout the city. pretty much seen everything that we wanted to see in downtown Birmingham. So now we're gonna head up to the Volcan statue, which we believe is up in the hills. Man of iron ore. As the sky started to turn gray, we headed up the hill to the statue of Volcan.
took the elevator to the very top. We are just under the feet of the Volcan statue. And it's pretty cool to be up here because you can see the entire city of Birmingham. What's interesting is the Sloss furnaces are just behind us in the distance, which is where we started the day. And that is where that... So windy. And that is where the iron was refined to create this statue, which is the tallest statue made of iron in the entire world, and the second tallest statue in the United States after the Statue of Liberty. Shoot, wish we could have stayed longer. I know. But it was a bummer. Sorry, it's like a safety hazard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. I saw, I was like, I behind us. Yeah. We were like, uh, we should go. Yeah, we were even saying that. We're like, it seems kind of dangerous right now. We should probably go down. We were just at the top of the Volcan statue a second ago, but they asked us to come down because as soon as we got up there, there was thunder and lightning and the weather turned and it was pouring rain. So it actually was like very risky but it was very interesting being at the top of this statue overlooking the city after having just seen all of its history walking through the downtown. And it was also cool to be at the top of the world's largest iron statue when just last week I was in Niagara Falls, one of the world's largest waterfalls. So if you wanna see my video about Niagara Falls, just click here and I will see you over there. Why not?